What's up, what's up, my LB besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy. If you are new here, thank you for subscribing. And if you are not, thank you for jumping back on to another video. I am excited about my video today, but I'm gonna first show you guys my purse of the video, which is my Speedy 20 in the monogram canvas. She may be tiny, but she's mighty. She's a mighty bag. She holds a lot, okay? Don't let her looks be deceiving to you guys because she can hold everything that you want her to. She really can. I mean, you can't put your kitchen sink in here, but you can put your daily essentials for sure. And she definitely holds all of my daily essentials. So yeah, my Speedy 20, you guys, in the monogram canvas print. Precious, precious. Okay, we're gonna set her over to the side because Sadly, she is not a part of this video. So first, let me start off and say I am collabing today with Meredith from Living Lux with Meredith. If you have not seen her channel, by all means, go check it out because you will be blown away by her amazing and beautiful collection of luxury handbags and more because she shows a lot of luxury items, but you guys, like probably the best collection I've ever seen belongs to Meredith okay and I will link her channel in my description box below and yeah so y'all check her out she is a beautiful amazing lady who does a bad A when it comes to handbags for sure and other luxury videos so y'all will thoroughly enjoy her videos if you do watch her she's very humble very kind always has the biggest smile on her face when she does her videos and I just love that about her and as soon as I discovered her on YouTube, I don't think I've ever missed one of her videos. Not a one. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. Not a one. Okay. And today, we are doing a collab over our five picks by Louis Vuitton. Okay? So, I'm going to first start with an SLG. I'm excited because I just got this one in today. And I'll tell you guys a little bit about um, why I wanted this. So, but first... I had already opened it up, but I have not taken it out, and you'll see why in just a moment. But this is from Love My LVOE. When I show this, we already know, right? So, anyways, there's that. And then she, and then she always sends the things that, she, that you purchase from her in a sealed bag. So I guess just to protect it if it rains or whatever through delivery. But anyways, I love that. So let me get my little um, box cutter that I, I did find. And it had fallen on my rug and blended in with it because it's the same color pink. Okay. So I did find it. And I was happy because I did not want to wait and get any more off of Amazon. Okay. But I am down to just her. <laughs> so I probably will buy some more. Okay. So this was probably the perfect timing to do this unboxing because one of our categories is an SLG. And so I'm gonna show you guys the SLG that I'm choosing and I will get to unbox it at the same time. So this came in new condition. Okay, here's the dust bag. So precious. So precious. So this is a mini pochette, as y'all can see, with looks like Vivian and her friends on bumper cars at a fair. I'm going to guess a fair. I haven't read up on it, but it's also from the year 2020. I was so happy to find it in new condition, and I love the red leather on the end of it. And it says made in France. And you guys, I'm going to show you all if you can see it up close. Like, you can tell this was never used. Never used. Because the, t the little pieces of leather kind of get like wrinkled. And, and I don't know. You can just tell when they've been used. Or I can anyways. Because I used the heck out of mine. But it came in new condition. And I love the red interior. I think that is so pretty inside there. Because I love having different colors inside and on the outside of my mini pochette. So all the colors that are in this pochette are just simply beautiful. I love that it has a lot of the purple in it, blue, pink, red. It covers them all, yellow, 
a greenish color. It just covers them all. And okay, so why did I want this from that year? Okay, so last year I bought my very first Christmas animation piece um, from Louis Vuitton and I bought the mini pochette in the Damier Azure with the Hollywood print on it. And I told you guys that story a hundred times, I know, where my husband and I took a trip alone to Hollywood, went down Rodeo Drive, I bought a bag in there. So I definitely jumped on that and grabbed a mini pochette in it. And then I also got the bando. And then I did it at the time by the bag charm. I regretted that and recently went to Fashion File and bought the bag charm. And it's in the Damier Azure as well with the Vivian and the Hollywood and all that on it. So anyways, I decided to start collecting one of these each year because, I, first of all, I love mini pochettes. Second of all, these are something that I can pass down to like my grandchildren one day and I want to have plenty of these to pass down. And then again, this is just one of the things from Louis Vuitton I want to collect. I started buying Louis Vuitton in 2017. That's the year that I bought my very first Louis Vuitton bag. So my goal is to go back and buy a mini pochette from 2017 to current. Okay, so I, obviously I have one pre-ordered for 2022. And now I have this one. So I may only have like four or five more years to go <laughs> to find these things. Okay, <laughs> I mean, no big deal. <laughs> but anyways, when I found this in brand new condition, obviously I had to grab it up. So that is going to be my SLG pick of my collection and it's the mini pochette with Vivian her friends in the monogram canvas okay so the next category is one classic vintage that's no longer available all right the one I'm going to show you is not only just a vintage bag but it's like one of my favorite bags and I'm so happy to have this bag and especially if you're into Louis Vuitton you'll understand why I want to show you guys which one it is okay and it is my Speedy 25 in the classic style with the cherries all over it. And let me show you guys up close. And the little cherries have little faces on them. I mean, they're literally like looking at me and making all these kinds of faces. And I want to make it back at them. But what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Nothing. So there's no point. But anyways, they're cute little faces. Some are smiling and some are making little odd faces. But how precious is this bag? And when, again, Bella from Love My LVOE sent me a picture of this and said, I'm about to have it, do you want it? And I said, is that even a question? Of course I want it, of course I did. There was no hesitation with that answer, none whatsoever. She actually sold this for a friend of hers that never used the bag, so you guys, I got this bag that was brand new and never used. It, it does have a very light patina to it, but I mean, this bag was from 2005, so of course it's going to have a patina to it. <laughs> That's just a given, you know? But I hung this beautiful fluff ball from it. I think just, oh my gosh. She is from the Cerise collection, which also means cherry in French. A French lady told me. I'm not positive about all the info over the bag. I hate to say too, something from 2005 is vintage because it seems like yesterday I was at, in 2005. A matter of fact, I married my husband in 2005. So yeah, it's hard to say that it, it is, but in a way it is a classic vintage bag. I mean, you can't buy this bag anymore brand new, so you have to get it pre-loved. And this will be a bag that I keep for the rest of my life. And then I will once again pass down to one of my daughters or grandchildren or somebody in my family like that that would love it and take care of it. This is one that I will only carry on special occasions because she's that special to me. So that is my classic vintage bag, okay? Okay, so the next one is one current season bag. That is so easy for me to do because it's my favorite right now. Hold up just a moment. It is my new twist bag in rose gold with the rose gold chain love it so very much like they literally just came out with this bag and they were putting it on the shelf when i went to louis vuitton that day and i looked at it and i was like 
oh my gosh, like, can I look at this bag? And so I wanted to look at it because it looked bigger than the one I'd had in the past. It's one of those bags that I bought from my essay without seeing it in person. So I returned it. And then when I discovered they had the medium size, and I don't know, they probably have had a medium for a good long while now, but I never seen one myself. So when I seen this sitting on the counter, before she was about to put it on the shelf, I asked her if I could look at this bag and I tried all of my things in it at the boutique and it, they all fit perfect and I've done a video over this bag so if you want to see how my things fit inside of it and how it looks on me, I will also link this video in my description box below since it's a recent one because this is one that you want to see like it color is amazing. I, I, I don't know. I just, I am a big fan of the color pink and I know this is not really like a pink color but rose gold to me is kind of in the same pink family it's just the metallic rose gold of that so the chain is rose gold as well and yeah the hardware is it's just beautiful beautiful bag and I was so happy to add this piece to my collection and I highly doubt this will be my last twist bag because I really do love the medium size one versus the PM size just because it fits what I need it to fit. That's the only reason. The PM size are very beautiful bags as well. I just like to be able to carry most of the things on an everyday basis, okay? So that's why I chose this bag and it was a hard decision because they also had it in the Capucine and it was beautiful as well and it had the rose gold chain but also had the rose gold leather intertwining with it but i made my decision based on the fact i did not own a twist bag and then also because i don't carry the capucine that i do have a whole lot because it's heavy and this would be more of what i would carry on a daily i guess okay so this is the bag i chose from the current season the LV Twist in Metallic Rose Gold. All right, I'm gonna set her over to the side. Now, the next category is one mainstay bag, which means one that is always available. That's easy too. And of course, I'm going to show my Never Full in the size MM. Pretty much, no matter what, wherever you go, you can get a Never Full bag. I know at one point in time, these were hard to come by. They were through the um, bad part of the pandemic, but everything was hard to come by. But canvas was especially hard to come by for some reason, I, who knows? I mean, there was many different theories of why you couldn't hardly get canvas bags, but who knows the real reason? All I know is they are now so easily available to get and they are amazing bags. I love Never Fools. You can't go wrong with this bag. Honest to goodness, you really can't because it holds so much considering it's called the Never Full. So, I don't know. I guess they're saying you can't fill it up. But I'm saying you can because I have. <laughs> but anyways, it does take a lot to fill up these bags. And um, they do have them in the GM size and the PM as well. I only own Never Fools in the size medium just because that's what I liked. I wouldn't mind having a GM size to be honest, but I, I'm able to get everything I need in the, the mediums. So I just have always just stuck to this. And especially when they come out with like the leather on prompt bags, like I don't even think they come out in any other size. So I've just always had the mediums, but I'm sure the GM is great and the PM. And then each of the Never Fools now, they used to not, but now they come with a pouch and which can turn into a wristlet if you want to just grab this out of your bag and run into Walmart or run into whatever and not take the whole bag with you. It's good for that because you can put card holder on the inside, keys, phone, I don't know. It'll make it kind of bulgy, I guess, but hey, it's still going to work for what you need it to do, okay? It's still going to work. And um, I don't really use my pouches that much, I will say that, but my daughters do. They are always using theirs, always. Even though these bags have been around for a good long time, I still can't express enough how much I do love a Neverfull bag. Oh, I will always have a Neverfull in my collection 
multiples. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so that is it. That is my mainstay bag that is always available for the most part. If, if your essay can't get you one and you can't find it online, check around because there will be one at some other store for sure. Okay, so my last category is one travel piece and I am choosing, hold up, my niece -y. My niece, Niecy, I don't know which one it's called. I've heard it called both ways. Cosmetic case. And this is the largest one they make. As you can see, it's pretty stuffed. This is something I use every single day. I, you guys, I've used it every day since I bought it. Seriously, like, I put all of my makeup in it. So I'm just going to kind of, I know it's dirty up here, but it's okay. It's okay. It's from the makeup brushes. It'll wipe off. So I'm going to kind of tilt it so you guys can see how full it is of makeup. <laughs> But the good thing about it is it's that kind of material that you can just wipe it off with a damp cloth and it just comes right off. I've done it a million times and I need to do it again. But it has a zipper pocket up here, which I have a lot of bobby pins and things like that in there. Ponytail holders and that, and that is where I keep those. But yeah, I bought an organizer and that way I can keep my, my makeup organized in here. But yeah, there is not a day goes by that this piece is not opened up and used. And I had probably got my money's worth out of this more than any bag or any SLG or anything that I, I own because I've had it for a while and I've used it, again, like I said, every day. And so I travel with this. A lot of times when I travel by plane or ship, I will use my small cosmetic pouch. And that's just because I don't want this to get messed up in like luggage and such. It's just too big and heavy to put down in my bag for my carry-on. It takes up a lot of room. So I'll use my cosmetic pouch and just choose like mi the minimal makeup that I would need. So I don't carry all of this makeup with me everywhere I go because obviously I don't wear every single thing that I have in here every day. But when I go on vacation, I'll just take the minimum of what I need for that week. And so that is what I carry usually when I travel, like I said, by plane or ship. But if I travel by car, which is a whole lot, this is what goes because I can just grab it and go. And I set it in the back seat and it doesn't hurt to sit like that. I just don't want anything happening to it in other ways of traveling. So anyway, so that is the last category. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And like I said, please go watch Meredith's and see which 5LV picks she chose. And they will be amazing for sure. You will definitely love whatever she chooses because everything she has is amazing. So again, I will have her channel linked in my description box below. Also subscribe to her if you have not, please. And if you have not subscribed to me, please consider doing so as well. Along with liking, sharing, and commenting on my videos because I enjoy talking to you guys every single day. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will leave my Instagram right up here as I always do so you guys can go over there and follow me. I just started my Instagram not too long ago but it is coming along pretty good so that's been a fun thing to do. <laughs> a lot more to keep up with but that's okay. That's okay. It's what we got to do you know. It is what it is. Like I said yesterday it is what it is. So I am going to let you guys go and leave you with I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening, or night. Whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good night. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.